Hello guys, today in this video lecture, I will be taking a problem based on theorems which I have already discussed with you in the previous video lecture. So let's go back, brush up your knowledge on those theorems and come back to this video lecture to see how I am going to solve this problem. So let's see what our problem says. Our problem says in this figure which I have drawn here, if PQ is parallel with ST, this is PQ which is in parallel with ST. An angle PQ are given, value for this is 110. You can see here, this is 110. An angle RST, this is RST. The angle for this is 130 degree. Then you need to find out the value for QRS. QRS. So you need to find out the value for this. You may say this is as theta. So this is theta here. You need to find out the value for this. So based on theorems I have discussed before, let's find out the angles here. So if this is 130 degree, this is the interior angle here and these two lines are parallel to each other and this being the traversal line here, you can see here dashed lines. What I have done here, I have reduced it further to this direction and I have produced PQ in this direction and I have produced uh, this line RS in this direction which is coming out to be a traversal line and I have extended this in QR in this direction which is also a traversal line for these two parallel lines. If this is 130 degree, so this angle will be 130 degree as well. Based on theorems, theorem 6.2, what, what it says, it says if two angles, if two lines are parallel to each other, then their alternate interior angles will be equal. So that's what I have done here. If this is 130 degree, then this will be 130 degree as well. So what this angle will be? As this is the straight angle, if this is 130 degree, so this will be 180 minus 130, so this will be 50 degree. What this angle is? 180 degree minus 130 degree. So this angle is 50 degree. And if this is 110, so what this angle will be? 110. And if, it, and if it is 110 and this is the straight line here, so what this angle will be? 180 minus 110. You can write here 180 minus 110. So uh, subtraction on subtraction you will be getting 70 degree. Now what you can see here, let me draw it again. This is Q here, this is R here and let's suppose some point M here. You have given the value here 70 degree and you have given the value here 50 degree compare these two angles and you need to find out the value for this theta. What do you know the property for a triangle? All the sum of interior angles will be equal to 180 degree for, for a triangle, for any triangle. So this is the property for this 70 degree plus 50 degree plus theta should be equal to 180 degree for a triangle. So now how can you solve it? 70 plus 50 is 120 degree plus theta is equal to 180 degree and theta will be 60 degree. So now you know the value for QRS angle QRS which is coming out to be 60 degree. So let me summarize this problem once again so that you know what I have done in this video lecture. These two lines are parallel to each other. I have produced it further in this direction and PQ in this direction so that you can see clearly that these two lines are parallel to each other. And there is, there is this point R. I have drawn tra traversal line here and traversal line here. Figure has already been given in NCRT book. Go, go there and see how this problem has been drawn. So what I have done, I have produced this line further and, and this line further because these two lines are traversal to these two parallel lines because these are cutting this line to two distinct points. So now what I have done here, I have applied theorem here because for, a, for a two parallel lines, their alternate interior angles will be equal. So if this is 130, so this will be 130 as well. And you know what is a straight angle? 
if this is theta then this will be 180 minus theta because a uh, angle drawn on a line is always 180 degree because a line is always linear in nature so this is this being a line here if this is 130 so this is coming out to be 50 degree and here in this case this is a line here if this is 180 degree so this will be 70 degree so now you can see here this is this is making a triangle here so this angle has been given 70 degree 50 degree and now you need to find out the value for theta so you know sum of all the interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degree so i have equated this sum with 180 degree and then solved it out for theta which is coming out to be 60 degree so now you can see here the angle here for qrs is 60 degrees i'll be taking more problems in the next video lecture thank you